Okay, so what is streets? Everybody asks that question. Is it people preaching with signs downtown? Is it people who are shouting at the top of their lungs like John the Baptist? No. For us, streets is about relationships, and relationships are what matters the most. What we do is we want to go downtown and impact people's lives for Jesus by getting involved in their lives first. We want to earn the right to be heard by them. We want them to see the love of Christ reflected in us as we are able to speak to them and be able to show them that we care about them as people who have the image of God inside of them, not just as sinners. We want to share with them the whole gospel. We want them to know that they're lost, but we want them to know that we have the solution for their issues. We want them to see Jesus by the way we live our lives. It all started with an hour and a half of worship and prayer on a Friday night in September. Street's ministry team held through Evangel University was preparing for a night of ministry, a night of relationship, a night of just talking with people about the love of God. Street's ministry leader, Rachel Hawkins, broke the group up into four teams of four to reduce the intimidation that large groups bring. Streams of mercy never the group prayed once more and then started their trek. Um, a lot of this is about discerning what the Holy Spirit has to say because, you know, there are conversations that you want to get in and there are conversations that are just not the right timing. So we always pray and ask God what to do. What are we doing down here? And um, we always ask Him to lead our conversations. So the, the key is knowing when to stop the conversation and when to start it. Yeah. I'm Tyler Maxey. Brian Henson. I'm Katie Soper. Without getting too deep into it, I would say the purpose of life is to help others and to, based on my experience, through through that, through helping other people to be healthy or to be happy with yourself. It's amazing. We just uh, asked them about their lives and just what's going on, and found out there she used to go to a church, and she said that her friend just got into a more mo motorcycle accident, and he's in a coma right now. And she actually asked us for a prayer request, and we just gotta pray with her and let God just touch her in her heart. And so tomorrow, we're gonna go visit the, her friend, pray for him, bring him some food, and you know, God is just freaking awesome. <laughs> are not connected with the sign guys. That's okay. I understand that not all people are represented by the guys holding the signs, like the party ends in hell. We both grew up in Christian families. Yeah. Okay, cool. You know. Can I ask like, what happened? Uh, I form my own beliefs. Like, I believe in God. I just don't believe in organized religion. I don't believe in the Bible. None of that. I think it's kind of sketchy. It just seems I can't like say the word God. A, book I a book written by, like, cattle okay, sacrificing so. sexist, racist primitives 3,500 years ago seems like maybe you should take that with a grain of salt whenever you take word from the, the Bible. There's plenty, like, good virtue to be learned. It's just like. You know, when you, when, whenever you say certain things, book. the Bible also states like you could stone your daughter in public whenever she embarrasses you. That seems maybe not okay. <laughs> uh, might have to go ahead and pull some reserve. I'm pretty Please. sure if I stoned my daughter, my ex-wife would kill me. I just want to throw that out there real quick. Like. Their trek lasted about three hours that Friday. This particular conversation lasted about an hour. They talked about life the purpose God has for people's lives, and the new life God has for people. You know, sometimes it seems like those conversations don't make any sense. Sometimes it feels like we're just arguing with someone for the sake of arguing, and that's not what we want to do. Because the problem is that we cannot convince anyone of the truth of the gospel without the power of the Holy Spirit. And our goal is not necessarily to convert people, it's to plant seeds in people's lives so that God can change them through the power of His Holy Spirit, not through us. So, you know, these guys, they might not have, you know, been very obliging as far as praying the prayer of salvation right now. But that's not what we care about. The fact is we told them the truth and we loved them. And that's all we can do in this situation. Because really, the only thing that is going to change them is God's love. 
The night went on with more streets ministry, all to spread the love of God to the people of Springfield, Missouri. The team talked and prayed with people, gave away some groceries to a homeless gentleman, and in the process specifically showed God's love through their actions. You could say Streets Ministry Team hit the streets of Springfield with the love of Christ.